Are you looking to install your new concession window on your new food truck or your food trailer and you want to do it yourself because you don't want to hire it out or you're having a hard time finding somebody that can do it? That's what we're going to do on today's video and this video series that we started called How to Build Your Food Truck. I'm Frank Baltieres and if you're new to the channel, welcome. And if you have been a fellow subscriber, thank you again. And hopefully you uh, catch something that I missed on my other food truck build on how to how to uh, install the concession window on the food truck or the food trailer. So let's get started on the outside. We're on the final steps to cutting it out, but let's rewind and start from the beginning. And thanks again, Frank Baltieres, how to build your food truck with me. So dang hot in here that I feel like I need to install the concession window trailer that we picked up from JR Aluminum in Ohio. So in today's video, we're gonna skip around from the electrical to the concession window just because I need some airflow. So with that being said, let's measure everything that we need on this side right here and then we're gonna take it to the outside and install the concession window on either your food truck or your food trailer. In this instance, it's a seven by 16 trailer that we have here that we're converting into a mobile kitchen on wheels. So let's get started on marking everything out on this concession window trailer. Then we're gonna cut it out and then we're gonna install the window and we're gonna reinforce it with studs so it's nice and sturdy and put some insulation in the walls there. So, All right, so here I have my concession window out right there. And so what I wanna do first is I wanna take a measurement from this piece right here. So you see this is the outside lip and that gets attached to the trailer uh, with screws right here, This where this little foamy thing is. So I wanna take a measurement from right here and take it all the way to the left side and we're gonna do the same thing. Grab the measurement from right there. And that's how much clearance we need to be able to uh, cut the hole, so to speak, into the trailer. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the top to bottom from the height. But this lip, we don't wanna, we don't wanna cut more than from here to over there. We can cut a little bit, but you just don't wanna cut where it's over here. So we're gonna get that measurement from right here all the way to the right side to right there on the inside of the window. And like I said, same thing for the height and then we're gonna put it on the plywood and then we're gonna... So I got my measurement and my measurement, I wrote it down here, it's 77 and 31. Yeah, 31 and 7 eighths. 77 and 31 and 7 eighths is what the measurement is going to be. So now I'm going to take the measurement. Another important measurement that you really wanna have in mind is how much it measures the lip, how much the lip measures. So from this outside lip, right towards where you're gonna cut, you really wanna know that measurement because it's gonna matter a lot when you're gonna go into the the exterior of the walls or the, the trailer, if it has like the screws. And you wanna be able to hit the joist, pretty much is what I'm saying. So the measurement from here to here matters quite a bit. So let's get that and then let's not forget it. So here it is. It's a little bit upside down for you guys, but it's an inch and a half lip is what we have. So whatever measurement we had right now in the exterior, we're gonna remove an inch and a half, and then that's gonna give us our inside dimension. I think I like that type of measurement better, inch and a half lip. So what I was doing on the previous hyperlapse is I was measuring from this part right here because I don't wanna cut this little transition piece. So I'm gonna leave an inch and a half. That's why I measured that inch and a half, so from here, this way is an inch and a half and the full window, the entire thing measures 80 inches wide and that's where it ends, this little pencil mark. So this, this way is gonna be an inch and a half as well. And this right here is how I'm gonna anchor my, um, what you may call it, my window. So this is a stud right here that I'm gonna use. So these screws are gonna leave, but these are gonna be used as a anchor point for my window to be able to screw into the studs of the trailer. So that's 80, inch and a half this way, and then from this gap, an inch and a half that way. Okay, so what I did, as I previously mentioned, is instead of an inch and a half on here, I gave myself another quarter inch because we're gonna put the rope lights outside. So we wanna have enough clearance for the little rope lights, the tape lights that we're gonna add. So I added an extra quarter inch. So now it's an inch and three quarter off this lip. It might not be the same for your truck, but just remember you wanna hit studs. There's no stud right here on the other side because I'm gonna use the existing stud on the other side to add a two by four on there. So it reinforces the window. So an inch and three quarter, and then from there, we go 77 inches to the left side 
which is this first light <laughs> first light this first line right here and then an inch and a half is right there so we're going to be able to grab this stud and use it as an anchor point as i mentioned so just want to make sure that i recap that with you because you get one shot at cutting this exterior um skin on the trailer to make it look real nice and you want to make sure that you do it right A special tool that you will need is this cobalt drill bit. You're gonna need it because we're gonna be drilling through stainless steel is one part that we're gonna need it. And the other one is right now we're gonna use this almost as an indicator because we're gonna drill from the outside of the trailer to the inside of the trailer. That way we get some markings in here so we can mark out where the square of the concession window is gonna go. So this is a must have tool in this food truck build for many many reasons it's a cobalt 764 right around there it doesn't have to be that exact one it could be an eighth uh, you don't want to go too small either but it's a cobalt make sure it's cobalt because it's going to drill through hard metal so now comes the moment of truth we have our four holes that poked out through the wall now i have to make sure that my drill bit was level and from right here to down here it measures 31 and three quarters. So let's measure that down. I go to the top. Dang, it's, it's pretty darn close. Just have to make sure that we go to the bottom of the hole. And this one's gonna be to the top of the hole. And that actually works out really, really well. So that's gonna be our window cutout. And from here to the floor, I have to the bottom of the window, roughly around 34 inches, 33 inches. And that's where the, the, the other tables are going to go right here, the serving tables. Let me go to measure the ones in my food truck and see how they compare. These measurements are almost identical to what I have. I dropped it down maybe about a half inch. I don't think it's going to make that much of a difference, but let me double check really quick. Okay, so once I punched out the four holes, that I pre-drilled, I went to inside and I measured how much the distance was from the floor to the top, or I guess in this aspect would be the bottom of the window right here, and it was 34 and three quarters. So I went to go measure the tables that are in my existing food truck because it's the exact same layout. And what I found out was that I need 35 and a quarter inches to be able to uh, have enough clearance for the tables to fit onto the wall. So what I'm doing now is I have to raise half inch higher from what I originally had a plan on my window, which is not a big deal. That's why we make these small little holes and cuts. So this is going a half inch up. Obviously it's going a half inch up there. And from, from the width on the left to right, that's staying exactly the same. It's just, we're lifting the window up a little bit. So just wanna make sure that you measure that if you're gonna have tables on the serving side where the concession window will be. Let's try this again. Uh, don't forget, at the end, it's not that we messed up or anything like that. We're just making a small adjustment to what I originally had thought. Um, when it comes to the window, you want to make sure that you measure as much as you can and get it as accurate as you can because if you cut too much off the skin, then you're going to have it exposed and you have to caulk it and all that nasty stuff. So you want to make sure we get a nice, clean cut, accurate cut. So I'd rather measure like 10 times and cut it once than uh, to cut it inaccurately. So let's drill these four pilot holes once again, and that way we can see it on the other side, and then we're able to mark everything out. Another tool that I would recommend you purchase and it's really, really helpful for a couple things is you're gonna get, so you can level off your window and you can measure from one side to the other, is get this super long, there's a 78 inch level and I'll link one from a, that, I, that you can purchase. I bought this one because I literally needed it right away. I bought it at Home Depot, uh, but maybe there's something a little bit more inexpensive that we can find on Amazon. So I'll try to find that for you all. It's a 78 inch level. And two things we're gonna do with it. One is I set it on my trailer 
because I wanted to make sure it was level because I've never leveled it off because it's just sitting here and it was not. So I set it down, I dropped it about maybe three quarters of an inch down from the tongue. So now I have a very level trailer and that's gonna help us out to measure out this, um, this window. And the reason I picked it up was because my measurements were not coming out right. And I'm like, my measurements have to be right. And they weren't. And part of it was because my, level, my trailer was not level. So this helped me level my truck or my trailer. So that's a really nice tool to have. And now what we can do, since it's such a long level, is we can set it on one side of the pilot hole right there. We can set it on the other side of the pilot hole right there. And now we can just mark our our window and it's going to make sure that it is level exactly where we need it so a very good tool to have um i don't it's a little bit on the longer side obviously so it it's not like these handy dandy little levels that we can use that's what i was using and it wasn't helping out much so with that so i was able to remove the bottom part I ran out of battery, so right here I had to actually drill a couple of holes just so it can uh, give me enough to snap that piece of wood off. So now what we have to do is just clean up the furs right here, the little edges, just to make it nice and uh, flush. That way when we put the window in, you don't get any of these little debris in there. It stops you for some reason, so you just want to clean that all up. And I'm just using the utility knife to do that. And we're going to remove this wire or reroute it somehow. That way it's outside of the window. That's your light that goes right here. That's that little light that goes right there. So we want to make sure we reroute this wire because it's literally right in the middle. You see it up there. It's literally right in the middle of the window. So that I have done on every single trailer. Just reroute it somehow. Usually you take it to this side and then I drill a hole through here, a small one. Go up this side, doo -doo -doo, come up right there, do the same thing, come around, and then I'm able to connect it right back. So that's that option that you have there. Now I charge up the battery. I don't think it's 100% yet, but I am going to use it because I need to get this knocked out. I need to cut that top piece up now with this multi-tool. All right, so on here, what I'm doing is I'm cutting out the studs and I'm taking my multi-saw right here and it has a metal blade. And what I like about this multi-saw is that it's multi-tool by Milwaukee is that it cuts a nice straight line being with this metal blade because we wanna be able to just cut straight right here. So we're gonna take this and we're just gonna drill, sorry, we're gonna saw right there. I did the bottom ones yesterday, as you can see right there. Now I'm gonna do the tops. And then we're gonna go all the way through. And then on the opposite side, being the outside, we're gonna take our um, a right angle cutter with our metal blade. And then we're gonna cut the skin off the trailer. That way we get a nice big opening. And now we're gonna route this green cable being the side markers on the trailer. That way we are uh, up to the standards of exactly how this food truck was built being with the side markers, the back markers, all the lights work and everything is in tip top shape. So with that, let me get the, the multi-tool by Milwaukee and it has a metal blade on there and then we're just gonna cut those straight right there. All right, so now I cut the bottom and I cut the top so all these studs are all loose now, every single one of them. I took this one off the screws on the outside of the trailer just because I want to be able to move forward uh, before I cut this out. When I cut this out, I want to be able to put the window right away in immediately so it's not exposed out to the elements in case it rains or something like that or some squirrel wants to come in here and make a nest next to my insulation. The insulation, I'm going to stuff right inside this part right here. It's just regular Pink Panther insulation right there, you see. Uh, I only found the face side, which has like the brown thing inside it or on top of it. Well, I'm going to take that off and I'm just going to stuff the, the pink stuff right inside each cavity of the joist or the studs right there. And same thing a little bit up top. And then I'm going to frame it. You guys will see what I do with this one by. It's a true one by as they call it because it's exactly one inch thick. 
um, because if you buy like a like a two by four, it's usually an inch and three quarter by by whatever. But I want to move that green cable right now so I can go across and across. That way, when I cut this window in, it's out of my way. But that's where we're at right now. Um, I just wanted to, like I said, take this piece off, cut this. The only thing left to do is to frame it really nice, put some insulation in there, and cut out the outside skin. But that one's not too bad, cutting the outside out and then moving that little trailer uh, light to the other side, just move it around. So I'll be working on that. Just wanted to give you an update on what I'm doing and the process of building out this concession window trailer or <laughs> concession window for the trailer. Um, so, and if you all really want to know all the details exactly, I couldn't film this because it's literally impossible. So I drilled a hole right there using this right angle bits. Oh my gosh, this thing's so cool. This right angle bit um, that gets an attachment. Actually, I think this thing probably got stuck up here. <laughs> yeah, there it is, see? I had a little drill bit right here that, uh, ah, come on, little video that I use. See if I can get it on this side. There it is right there. That I use that you attach it to the impact driver. And that thing is a lifesaver. You guys can see it right there. And that's how I drilled the hole. If I can really focus. That's how I drilled the hole that's going to feed this trailer cable that goes to the side marker. Which is indicated here by green. So there you go. That's all the details. Everything. No secrets. I couldn't even get that angle for you guys. I gotta get down lower. There it is. So I'm gonna get that green wire right there. Sorry for that interruption. And what I'm gonna do, you guys can see I ran it. That's that trailer wire. And I'm gonna use that same wire that I took from the interior lights that I took off. This right here. And I'm gonna wire nut it together right here. So I'm gonna put a wire nut right there. And then another wire nut right there. And that's how I'm going to connect them right back together. That way they both have power, again, for that little side marker on the side of the tire. So what I'm doing here is just cutting out little pieces of wood to be able to fit between this stud right here and this stud right here and obviously vice versa, vice versa all the way down. And that way this is not secured yet, but this is going to be a nice little support for the window here. And that way we go all around up to the top. We're going to do that as well right there. And that's going to be kind of like in your, in your house. They do the framing for your window. That way it doesn't like fall over or something, especially here. Since we're going to be driving around, uh, sometimes at uh, high speed, sometimes low speed, speed bumps, potholes, all that fun stuff. You want to make sure your window stays in place for years and years and years. So that's the bracing that we're using there. I bought this, like I said, this one by. It's a true one by piece of wood from Home Depot. It measures exactly one inch. Uh, so make sure that you get that because it's a one inch gap from here to there. So there you go. That's what we do to brace it. All right, so we're done framing everything. Now we're gonna cut out the metal piece. All these studs are loose right here. All we gotta do is cut the exterior skin off the trailer, which should be pretty straightforward right now. The hardest part when it comes to installing the window is getting these little bracing pieces in. And they're just here, honestly, to give some more support to this, uh, to this window. That way when you're, like I said, rocking and rolling down the street, you don't hit like a speed bump or a pothole and then the window just falls right out because you didn't install it sturdy enough. So that's more for precautionary measures and to add more stability and strength to the window frame. So with that being said, let's cut the skin out 
and then we're gonna have a complete opening where we're gonna install our window today because I'm already sweating. My shirt is drenched in sweat because it's so hot and humid. So you might as well finish up the day and get an extra hand and lay this window right in. So again, let's get started on this. Let's finish it up today. And it's, uh, I'll tell you the time frame of about how many hours it took me to do this bad boy of a concession window on your trailer. These are my safety glasses because that's all I had. Because you want to wear it, you're going to have metal sparks flying all over the place here. So we're going to be using our right angle drill, or not sorry, right angle drill, a uh, right angle grinder with a four and a half inch metal cutoff is what we have here. And we're just going to be cutting on the pencil lines that I had made in the beginning of this video. So with that, let's get started. Hopefully I don't mess anything up and you guys can follow along and do it yourself as well. There it is. That's going to be the new concession uh, window that we're going to have on this particular food truck. And you can do the same, obviously, on your food truck or your new food trailer. And that's how we cut it out. It takes a little bit of sweat equity. As I always say, it can be done yourself. You just need to put a little bit of hard labor into it, but it will pay off in the end. Uh, trust me, it's going to have that pride of work, number one, which I like to do. I love to know that I built something myself. And you're also going to be able to know how to do it in case something happens. You never know, but you're able to fix it yourself. So the, the cool things that I like about doing it myself, especially like on this window and all the things we're going to show you in these videos. Yesterday, the installation of the concession window was completed. Finally, it took about, I would say, I did not work on it more than one hour per day. And it took about six, seven days just because I just did it in the evenings, just a little by little by little by little. So I would say total, total, if I had to give you like worst case scenario, how long it would take to put the concession window in, I would say about seven hours. So you could get it done in one day, realistically. I just uh, didn't have the time to work on it seven days in one shot. Oh, sorry, seven hours in one shot. So I took it, you know, piece by piece by piece. And that's how I enjoy working on this trailer is just a little bit at a time, making progress every day, every evening that I'm able to. But the installation came out really nice. The window opens well. All the screws are in here nice. I silicone the edges right there. That way it's water tight, I guess, so you won't have any uh, leaks and things like that. So with that, I'm pretty pretty happy with the installation. I really like this. My third one that I've installed. I have one on mine, which is Rolling Burritos. Then the other trailer that I built, and this this being number three of the concession windows that I've installed. Um, I like it. I like it a lot. So any questions that you have, drop them in the comments, and we'll try to answer them as much as we can. But hopefully, I give you enough information, enough of the hyperlapses that uh, we can put this together and you can install this in your food truck or your food trailer oh and jr aluminum by the way makes these different colors so you just have to pay probably the upgrade fee but they make it white and i think mill is a stock color obviously white is what i needed but they can make them different colors so that's pretty cool you can just ask them at jr aluminum which is where i bought this one right here so thank you very much